But when we talk about this limitless opportunity, it's not really about adding more screens or grabbing more screen time. It's about truly figuring out how to empower more people and more organizations. That's really what it's all about. We have a real responsibility as we think about the impact of technology to ensure that technology is reaching everyone. In the last few years at Microsoft, I've been truly inspired by the passion of people, the developers inside as well as in this community, where we have really taken some of the advances in AI in particular and applied it to accessibility, applied it to help people with disabilities. It's been a personal passion of mine and it's been a privilege for me, a blessing for me to see that unfold every year we have this hack fest or one week and each time when I see the types of things the developers are capable of doing, the magic they can create with learning tools in OneNote or using Gaze with ALS, it just really helps me see the bigger picture of what technology can do. Let's roll the video. We have so many people who are non-verbal, but still have so much to say. I want the exact same information that my hearing friends have. There are barriers to communication everywhere, but I think it's time we look at the barriers as opportunities to reach out to everyone. Soundscape fills in a lot of the mental map as you move. Approaching intersection. You can just put it in your pocket and go. With ALS, you become locked in. But we see technology as a way to give back what ALS has taken away. There's no better feeling than to hear a child say something that they've wanted to say and the look on their face after they've, they've been able to say it. When it's reading, I see spaces between the words and it's easy to focus on. Andre realized that here was something that could change his life. Now that I have my phone, I can see exactly what was said and that's been a huge help to me. The system is learning as it goes, and the accuracy has improved tremendously. Students can pick any language that they choose to receive the information. It's like we jumped into the future. Because communication is very important for all of us, and we just want to be together and not feel left out. Aider les personnes avec autisme à communiquer, il y a des images. Je parle, je donne une information à Arthur, et elle est traduite par l'application El Picto instantanément en pictogramme et après d'une façon orale. Va t'habiller et te brosser les dents. On va pouvoir remettre en place une communication qui est plus spontanée. Je crois que ça vraiment ça aide à recréer du lien. Both my wife and I are totally blind and we have a three year old son that's in preschool. He can see but his parents can't. So to be able to know what's going on at his school is everything. The Seeing AI app has the ability to allow me access to the visual world. Artificial intelligence is beginning to have an impact on the lives of people with disabilities, but it's, it's only going to grow. There is still so much out there uh, to be done. And I'm really pleased to close this keynote by announcing AI for Accessibility. This is a grant program that we are creating so that we can give grants to researchers, NGOs, developers, give them support, platform technologies 
so that you can bring your ingenuity and passion to help the one plus billion people in this world who have disabilities. I can't wait to see what you all build. Thank you all so very much and have a fantastic rest of the build. Thank you.